Established by Napoleon in 1802, the Legion of Honor has lasted for over two centuries and today holds the position of France's highest military and civilian honor. It has survived into the French Fifth Republic, having witnessed the history of a nation filled with numerous regime changes, all of which have left their mark on the order. I'm the Enlightened Edelweiss and in this video, we'll be tracing the fascinating history of France's Legion of Honor. Upon the arrival of the French Revolution, all honors were abolished as they were seen as being a symbol of hierarchy and social inequality. This state of affairs, however, was not to last long. Napoleon Bonaparte was no stranger to the potential power held by medals and distinctions, and he recognized the need for their reintroduction. Following his rise to power, Napoleon's institution of the award in 1802 was highly controversial and far from easy. Even though the award was open to all citizens of France, regardless of their social background or heritage, many revolutionaries were still firmly opposed to the idea, fearing that Napoleon was turning toward the Ancien Régime, or perhaps creating a class of military aristocracy that would be loyal only to him. There was also a lack of appreciation and an underestimation of the potential that such an honor held. General Moreau even made fun of Napoleon's attempts to reinstate honors by awarding his cook the quote-unquote Order of the Saucepan. During the discussions in the Conseil d'État as to the introduction of the Legion of Honor, the lawyer and politician Théophile Berlier attempted to belittle the idea, to which Napoleon struck back. You tell me that class distinctions are bottles used by monarchs. I defy you to show me a republic ancient or modern, in which distinctions have not existed. You call these medals and ribbons baubles? Well, it is with such baubles that men are led. I would not say this in public, but in an assembly of wise statesmen, it should be said. I don't think that the French love liberty and equality. The French are not changed by ten years of revolution. They are what the Gauls were, fierce and fickle. They have one feeling, honor. We must nourish that feeling. The people clamor for distinction. See how the crowd is awed by the medals and orders worn by foreign diplomats. We must recreate these distinctions. There has been too much tearing down. We must rebuild. A government exists, yes, and power. But the nation itself? What is it? Scattered grains of sand. In the end, Napoleon's attempts were successful, and the Legion was finally introduced with 56 votes for and 38 against in the Tribuna, as well as 166 for and 110 against in the Coeur Législatif. Napoleon had a multitude of reasons for pushing through such a controversial piece of legislation. Firstly, and perhaps most obviously, the award could be used to increase motivation and morale among soldiers, as well as to strengthen Napoleon's personal bond with his men. Apart from that, the merit-based award would create a new loyal elite to the state, putting further weight behind Napoleon's rule over France. In addition, it would also unify both the military and civilian public of France after years of division, under the common value of individual and national honor. And lastly, it would provide formal recognition for service to France, regardless of class or social background. However, while the order technically existed from 1802 onward, it was never properly realized until 1804. By 1804, it was decided that the honor would take the form of a medal, and the first awards were presented on the 14th of July that year to coincide with the transfer of famous marshals Fouban and Turenne's remains to Les Invalides. There were originally four classes of the Legion of Honor, those being Légionnaire, Officer, Commander, and Grand Officer. In 1805, a fifth class was introduced, known as the Grand Aigle. With the founding of the imperial nobility in 1808, recipients of the order gained the title Chevalier de l'Empire. Though the Legion of Honor didn't just come with abstract notions of merit and honor, members were also paid generously, with the sum increasing along with the rank of the recipient. Additionally, the daughters, granddaughters, and great-granddaughters of recipients of the award 
gained access to free education at elite schools, known as Maison d'Education de la Légion d'Honneur, or simply Legion of Honor schools. Recipients also had the right to vote in electoral colleges. The first iteration of the medal was a five-pointed cross on white enamel with a red ribbon. The center of the medal had, on one side, Napoleon's head, with the inscription, Napoléon en près de Français, and on the other side, the Napoleonic eagle holding a lightning bolt, with the order's motto, Honneur et Patrie, inscribed. The center was surrounded by an oak and laurel wreath. Later during Napoleon's reign, the design was slightly changed, and an imperial crown was added above the main medal, through which the ring holding the ribbon was passed. Additionally, the points of the star were rounded, since they dug into the soldiers' uniforms. Following the fall of Napoleon in 1814 and again in 1815, King Louis XVIII, newly restored to the throne, decided against the abolishment of the order, since doing so would have outraged its many thousands of recipients. There were, however, certain changes made to the decoration. The order was renamed to the Royal Order of the Legion of Honor. The portrait of Napoleon in the center was replaced with that of King Henry IV, and three fleurs de lis replaced the Napoleonic eagle on the other side. The imperial crown through which the ring holding the ribbon passed was changed to a royal one. Additionally, the fifth Grand d'Aigle class of the award was renamed Grand Cordon. This was changed again in 1816 to Grand Croix. The way the award functioned was also changed. In 1816, the lowest Légionnaire class of the medal was renamed to Chevalier, and the Legion of Honor became the second highest order of knighthood following the Order of the Holy Spirit. It was also decided that recipients could not vote in electoral colleges any longer. After the fall of the Bourbon dynasty and the start of the July monarchy under the House of Orléans in 1830, the Legion of Honor once again underwent slight changes to suit the nature of the regime. Bourbon decorations were abolished, and the Legion of Honor was restored to its position as France's highest honor. The portrait of King Henry IV was kept, however the three fleurs de lis were replaced by two tricolor flags of France. Additionally, the order was now opened up to a host of new trades, including smaller scale industries and crafts. However, in time, the July monarchy came to an end as Napoleon's nephew, Louis Napoleon, came to power in the newly formed French Second Republic. With the Bonaparte once again in power, Napoleon's portrait returned to the order, replacing that of Henry IV. Surrounding Napoleon's portrait were the words Bonaparte, Premier Consul, along with the date of the order's establishment, the 19th of May 1802. The crown atop the medal was once again removed. Only four years following the change in regime, it changed again, though this time not by the force of external revolution, but through the will of its own president, who now established the Second French Empire, with himself as Emperor of the French, under the name Napoleon III. Naturally, Napoleon's portrait remained on the decoration, though the inscription changed to Napoleon, Empereur de Français, and the date of the order's institution was replaced by a single star. On the other side of the decoration, the cross tricolors were replaced by the Napoleonic eagle. The imperial crown was also once again restored to the top of the medal. Under Napoleon III, considering both his time as President of the French Second Republic, as well as Emperor of the French, representation within the Legion of Honor grew immensely, with the force of industrialization and the growth of charitable efforts. While members of the armed forces accounted for about 75% of the medal's recipients, this was still the greatest that representation had ever been. Additionally, his rule saw the first ever recorded instance of a woman receiving the decoration, with Angelique Brulon, an old revolutionary and soldier, becoming a chevalier of the award. Though the Second French Empire didn't last forever, and following the Emperor's defeat at Sedan and the establishment of the French Third Republic, the Legion of Honor was once again changed. Being the first non-Bonapartist republic to confer the decoration, Napoleon's portrait was now replaced with the female personification of the republic, with the words République Française 
and the year 1870, the year of the formation of the Republic, along with two stars inscribed around it. The Napoleonic Eagle was once again replaced for tricolor flags, and the Imperial Crown was also removed, though this time replaced by another laurel and oak wreath. At the start of the 1900s, there were almost 45,000 French members of the Legion of Honor. This increased drastically upon the arrival of the First World War, with the nature of the conflict producing far more recipients. Similarly, the conclusion of the Second World War also greatly expanded the order, and in fact continues to expand the order to this day, with many veterans still being awarded the honor. Following the Allied victory in the Second World War, the French Fourth Republic was established in 1946. This was accompanied by a final change in the physical appearance of the medal, with the year 1870 being replaced by a star. The transition to the French Fifth Republic in 1958 didn't bring any further changes to the award's appearance. However, there was a significant change made to the award in 1962, when Charles de Gaulle limited the honor to a maximum of 125,000 living members in order to prevent inflation and maintain the award's prestigious status. In 2007, the Legion made further steps towards greater inclusivity and representation with the adoption of new guidelines that ensured gender equality and created a new class of the award for volunteer services rendered in non-profit organizations. And that brings us to the present day, where, on average, 2,200 French and 300 foreigners are awarded the decoration each year. Currently, the Legion of Honor has around 79,000 members. Well folks, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.